Okay, so um, right before this video was filmed, I lost my voice, so you guys are going to be getting a voiceover. <laughs> so I'm taking my hair down from a puff that I've had for a couple of days, and um, some of the products I'm going to be using is this water and conditioner mixture I made. It's Diva Curl One Conditioner, I believe. Some oil, um, that's castor oil and avocado oil. And then this construction, um, it's a product, I'll list it down below. And some clips, some scissors, and a pick for when I pick out my hair. Um, so that shabby looking bottle there is actually Cream of Nature's Argan Oil Buttermilk, leave-in buttermilk. I love the stuff, it smells great. Um, so you guys didn't see it, but I sprayed this section with the leave-in conditioner first. And then I'm putting in the buttermilk and I'm adding some of the oil to the ends. And now I'm braiding. Like, if you notice, my braiding skills are pretty. They're weird. They, they just don't look very good. But it gets the job done. So, yeah, I'm braiding all the way down. And in a minute, I'll show you what I do to the ends. <laughs> Okay, so here's what I do to the ends. Um, I twist the ends instead of continuing the braid all the way down. And this is because when I take down my hair, it's a lot easier to take out. Because for some reason, when I braid my hair all the way down, I get single strand knots and I get frustrated. And it's just not a happy look overall. So yeah, if you want to have less tangles when you're taking down your hair, I suggest you twist and then do the little wrap your finger around the curl thing to seal in the moisture and all that good stuff. Okay, let's keep watching. Oh, and I forgot to mention, I don't use the scissors in this video because of that tip. Normally if I get single strand knots, I have to snip them off, which is better than trying to like, you know, pull them apart because you'll just end up breaking your strands anyway. Oh snap, so here, <laughs> here I flat twisted the front section. This just, I like it because it creates like sort of a bang, it helps it fall in front of my face. So yeah. I'm not very good at that either, but it gets the job done. So I'm done here, and now it's time to get ready for bed. Some of y'all can you know, do this whole scarf thing, but <laughs> my scarves do not last through the night, so I prefer to sleep on my satin pillowcase. And yeah, see y'all in the morning. So I'm back, taking out my bun. Don't hate, that bun looks so real when it's in. Only problem is when it starts unraveling in the middle of class and you gotta wrap it back. Anyway, so 
I'm taking my pick and some oil on my hands just to prevent frizz, but honestly, let's be honest, frizz is inevitable. So, but the really important part here is the takedown. First of all, you wanna make sure you guys have a lot of time to take down your hair. I have, I'm infamous for being late to class for, you know, just being late because I'm taking down my hair. And I end up like getting really frustrated and um, breaking my hair. So the biggest tip, have time. And then those twisted ends make it a lot easier to start unraveling. Um, so yeah, here's the process. So when I'm done unbraiding, I start to separate and it depends on how I feel about my fro. Um, I take larger sections and just run my hands through it and find where the braid separates naturally. And then if I want a fuller look, I'll keep separating. I usually go for a fuller look, but you know, if you separate more and more and you fluff and pick it out more and more, your braid out's not gonna last as long, but who cares? It looks good anyway while it's in your head. So I'm still fluffing, still separating. This usually takes a while, I'm not gonna lie, but like I said, set out time, girl, set out time. Okay, now for my favorite part jilling those itches down um so i just take some argan oil what is this brand called again eco styler gel and i have a little spoolie that i got from sephora i just took it out of the thing and um just yeah making them look nice and sleek getting them all fleek and then i shake my hair out and continue picking it out there's no shame here honestly pick keep picking Once I'm done fluffing and picking and all that, I finally leave the house. So this is it guys. I hope you guys try this and have similar results. And thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later. Bye bye. Thanks.